Well, I left you with the question of how do we take this function f and which is shown down here this is the kind of the starting relationship that we we were working from and how do we come up with a function with f as a function of phi this relationship over here and I said well okay just raise both sides of this equation to the 1 over m power and you're probably saying well look Archie's in Archie's paper we have the formation factor we have the porosity uh, f is a function of porosity but this is plotted on a logarithmic uh, logarithmic scale right we have 1 to 5 here, 5 to 50 there, and so on. So what we're really seeing here is that the log of f varies linearly with the log of phi. So let's come back to this, and you know, your, your, your intuition is good. Um, what we showed, you know, working from, working from this expression here, is that the log of phi was equal to the log of a minus m times the log of f. And so why not just solve directly for the log of f, which is is more or less what we more or less what we have over here, isn't it? I mean Archie plotted up a bunch of data points, uh, the formation factor versus the porosity, and shows that we have a straight line and this log log display with a negative slope. So let's go ahead and solve for the log of f. To do that, we just, you know, we have some algebraic manipulation to do. We'll subtract log of a from both sides. So we have log of phi minus log of a is equal to minus m times the log of f. We'll divide both sides through by minus m. So we get log of phi uh, minus log of phi over m plus the log of a over m is equal to the log of the formation factor. <clears throat> okay, so we have a straight line. We have the, the straight line that we want. This is, you know, basically tells us that the log of f is equal to uh, the log of a over m minus, let's just bring this 1 over m out, times the log of, log of phi. So there is our negative slope. Phi is now our independent variable. This is, you know, kind of the log of phi is, is equal to our x, log of f is equal to our y, and the intercept here is equal to log of a over m. Fair enough. That, that works out quite well. So we have basically the relationship that, 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 that we see here that's presented in Archie's paper. Okay. So now take a look at these plots. This is a plot of f as a function of the porosity, and you can see that it's, it drops off exponentially. And in fact, I've put the relationship down here. So the relationship down here. And let's just rewrite that. So, so how do we how do we get that? We started off with phi is equal to a f to the minus m. I said, okay, just raise both sides of that equation to the one over m power that would give us a times f to the minus m power to the 1 over m. 
And then we have to ask ourselves, you know, we've got some basic rules, you know, remind yourself of your, your basic rules. We have, if we have something like a, b to the c power, this is the same as a to the c, b to the c, right? So over here, this is going to be a to the minus, or a to the 1 over m times f to the minus m to the 1 over m. And then again, just remind yourself of that other rule. If we have something like a to the b, we raise that to the c power. This is just equal to a to the b times c. So coming back over here and applying that rule, we have a to the 1 over m. We have f to the minus m times 1 over m. The m's are going to cancel out. We just end up with a to the 1 over m times f to the minus 1 is equal to phi to the 1 over m. And this is also just equal to a to the 1 over m divided by f. <clears throat> so if we multiply both sides of the equation by f, we get that phi to the 1 over m times f is equal to a to the 1 over m or that f is equal to a to the 1 over m divided by phi to the 1 over m, which is what I've written, what I've written down here. So what I'd like for you to, to do is, is make sure you can work through these different relationships, put them in logarithmic form, put them in this um, exponential form. And um, so, so now we have um, f as a function of phi, as, as we had talked about getting earlier on. We also have it in this linear relationship here. So um, again, this is kind of the this is, this is the linear form that we that we see here in the expression. So fun with logs and exponents. Take some time to go over this on your own. Make sure you understand how to do it. And let me know if you have any questions.